School safety is a big concern since the Parkland, Florida high school shooting. And tonight, Canfield will hold a meeting to listen and talk about any concerns from the community about their schools. First News reporter Brittany Bissell joins us live again from Canfield this morning, where she's talking with the school superintendent about what they're hoping to accomplish. Brittany. Yes, yeah, school safety is the big topic of discussion here tonight at the community awareness meeting that's taking place in Canfield. I'm joined now by Alex Jordan, who is the superintendent of Canfield Schools. Alex, can you just tell me what are you guys hoping to accomplish tonight? Um, a, a, a breath, um, just people to understand that we're on top of things, that we listen and we have communication, we're open to dialogue, we risk assess daily. We go to sleep at night, we wake up thinking of different things. Um, what our community is aware and, and just want to reiterate to them, every administrator here is a, is a parent. Every board member is a parent, grandparent. So we think of different topics that might need to be addressed mm -hmm. as if we're talking about our own youth. So that, that's a topic that will be discussed. Not only safety when it comes to um, uh, hardcore items, infrastructure, but also mental, mm -hmm. mental health, communicating, um, having open dialogue, uh, being able to address individual youngsters' needs. That's so important as well. And you've invited members of the police department, the fire department. What are you hoping that they can kind of bring to the table at this meeting? We're not in this alone. Mm -hmm. um, they do this on a daily basis. We're educators. That's what we went to school for. So it's our job to surely educate, but we need to rely on our local law enforcement, safety forces, to help us through this and also to risk assess mm -hmm. and, and to give us some ideas and give us some thoughts. And then if we have ideas, we throw them at them to get their viewpoint. Uh, we talk about a three-legged stool, mm -hmm. um, school, county, or excuse me, township and city. We truly believe that. That's why we, we involve them in communication. And with school safety being such a big topic right now, what have you guys done to kind of improve your safety? What, what other things might you be looking at doing? It's fluid. It's ongoing. When I walked into the district it being interviewed six years ago, like I said, walked into the district. I was able to walk through doors. Or they weren't locked down. There were no buzzer systems. There's no panic devices where if you depress them that all law enforcement is notified to get to the school within a minute. Just so many different upgrades. Um, key fobs for staff to get in the doors that are, that are locked. Um, not only security systems, but also cameras throughout the district. Mm -hmm. it, so many different upgrades that we've mentioned, but also, again, um, men, mental addressment and, and w talking with kids, working with kids. And you definitely feel that this is a, a big concern and something that needs to be addressed tonight. Well, it's, it's, it's needed because we hear from the public. We talk about the heartbeat of, this, of, this, of the town, of the mm -hmm. city, uh, of the township, and we need to take care of our heart, mm -hmm. and the heartbeat is our community. We have an outstanding school system because of them. So we hear that they have some concerns. Mm -hmm. We make it an open session. We not only have dialogue that what we have done, mm -hmm. but they are eyes as well and ears. So we need to hear from them, and they might see something that, that we can improve on. Mm -hmm. We're not perfect. Um, we need to hear from more, not less. Alex, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we have a graphic for you guys with some more information on that. That meeting is tonight. It is at the Canfield High School cafeteria. It's welcome for anyone in the community to come out and address any safety issues that they might have about the school and concerns. And it's at 6 o'clock. And again, that is here at Canfield High School. Live in Canfield, Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.